this is Thomas from Brain Trust Digital. We're going to go through another quick tip here. In this case, we're going to talk about the problem of keeping your data in sync. So when you start building and deploying applications, you're going to have a, a local uh, and a staging and a, maybe a production environment. Uh, so keeping these databases in sync and having a mechanism to do that quickly and easily is something that can really come in handy. Uh, so in this scenario, uh, we're going to solve a bug by uh, setting up a mechanism to quickly sync our data from production to local in an effort to, to figure out what's wrong and then solve the problem. The only real requirement here is that the Rails application is deployed with Capistrano. We're going to use uh, the Capistrano DB tasks gem it allows us to sync the data like we want to. Uh, so what we have here is just a simple blog. Um, I'm outputting the environment just so it's easy to tell. Uh, which server we're on or, or if we're local or in uh, staging or production. We have different amounts of data and different data in each one to kind of simulate the problem. This is the index page. If you click through here, then it's just a very, very simple uh, shell page with some content. Um, and then we've simulated the problem here in, in production. Uh, so something's wrong here, right? And so we need to get our data quickly down the local environment to try and recreate that problem. Flip over to Sublime Text and install a Capistrano or add the uh, Capistrano DB Tasks gem and then bundle to install it. Uh, you can look over here at the uh, documentation for this gem. Uh, you can read through this for more options. We're going to use a couple of these, not all of them. Um, but uh, you just need to install the gem. And you're going to require it in your deploy file. So we're going to require the, the gem at the top of our deploy. And then I like to use these two options here. Uh, DB local clean true. And DB remote clean true. So you can see there in the comments. These two options just remove the local dump file uh, from local and from the server after you've finished uh, migrating the data local or up to the server. Require false here. All right, there we go. Run bundle exec cap production db pull. Yes. And that's going to pull the data locally now. So now you can flip over to your local environment and you'll see that it's going to match now the production data. It's wiped out our local data and replaced it with the data from production. So we can click on this and see the same error, but now we have an error page. We can look at it and figure out what's going on here. No method HTML is safe for no class. So our content is empty. You can open the show page and um, maybe try, try this method because you're not sure it's going to be there. One caveat here, one concern is this is not a real production application, right? You wouldn't normally have edit links open to the public or anything like that. You'd want to have a device in place to, to lock down these routes. And I mentioned that because uh, running HTML safe here, if this were like a public based forum that could leave your site vulnerable since everything wouldn't get filtered. Now that we've solved the issue, you have the opportunity to either push the new data back up into production, uh, deploy your code fix, I guess, first. FDB jam, um, bug fix. CPD is an alias that I have for cap production deploy. And then you can see you fixed the problem. Now you have the opportunity to edit and fix that, that broken data. This is something I end up adding into all of my applications. Uh, it's just really nice and easy to have a, a convenient mechanism for syncing data between environments. So if you've 
found this video useful, please reach out, uh, like, subscribe, ask me any questions in the comment section. For our next video, we're going to build off this uh, Capuchano database task and add another gem to allow us to switch database. In this case, we're going to switch from a MySQL database to a PostgreSQL. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.